The highest arbitration award this year is uh, Conoco Phillips versus Venezuela. The claimants obtained an award of 8.5 billion dollars, which is a huge amount and uh, obviously this is one of the highest amounts. So the case is interesting because it deals with the difference between a just compensation and a full compensation. So a full compensation is a compensation that is awarded for a nationalization of property and it includes the value of the property and possible future profits of the company. While a just compensation is limited to the value of the property. Obviously, the claimants want to get a full compensation and the tribunal explains that a full compensation is not possible because the very expropriation was legal. The expropriation was provided by the very treaty. You know, the treaty, the BAT, provides that in some cases the government has the right to expropriate the investment. So, Kanaka Phillips gets uh, just compensation, which is still a huge amount of money. A case where we see the application of the full compensation concept is Clayton versus Canada, also this year. So, in Clayton versus Canada, the investors start um, an investment project, they develop an industrial site, and then they are prohibited to continue by a very illegal decision. It, it is so illegal that the very Canadian government agrees that it is illegal and uh, the tribunal follows, of course, this line. So this gives the right to a full compensation. The illegality gives this right. But how to compensate them in a situation where there is no pro there are no profits? You know, they were at the very early stage of investment, and then their project could be stopped at a later stage by a higher Canadian institution, and that higher Canadian institution could take an absolutely legal and valid decision. In this case, the arbitration tribunal decides to apply the reasonable business people presumption. So the reasonable business people presumption means that they have the right to the value of the opportunity that was lost. And the value of the opportunity is the money they have invested plus a reasonable margin. So the reasonable margin is added to the investment while we calculate the reasonable the the full compensation because the presumption of reasonable business people means that they are so reasonable that they could not invest in a project which would become a complete failure. This is why the reasonable margin is added. So in total, Clayton investors get $7 million.